Hello, hello! How is everyone doing today? Welcome to our in-depth breakdown of the Penguin Episode 2 Inside Man. After an explosive premiere, Episode 2 takes a more deliberate yet equally gripping pace as it immerses us deeper into Gotham's twisted underworld. It's a slow burn, but trust me, every detail in this episode is dripping with tension, betrayal, and of course, Gotham's signature grit. Let's dive into the layers of this episode, starting with our favorite criminal mastermind, Oz Cobb. Oz Cobb, the master of adaptation. Colin Farrell's portrayal of Oz, or the Penguin as he's mockingly called this episode, is captivating. This episode peels back more layers of Oz's character, revealing not just his ruthlessness but his real power adaptation. He doesn't just set up elaborate schemes and hope for the best. No, his brilliance lies in his ability to survive, even when his plans go sideways. This brings us to the episode's centerpiece, a heist sequence set to Bobby Darin's Call Me Irresponsible. The choice of music is inspired, lending a darkly comic air to the violence that unfolds. As Oz's carefully laid plans crumble around him, we see him thinking on his feet, turning disaster into opportunity. It's a dance he's clearly performed many times before, and one he tries to teach his protege, Victor, throughout the episode. What's fascinating about this iteration of the Penguin is how the show makes us understand his evil without necessarily sympathizing with it. Oz is horrible, make no mistake. We may glimpse a softer side through his relationship with his dementia-stricken mother. He also casually kills her off in a conversation with Sophia Falcone, revealing just how tactical his love can be. It also makes you wonder about all the stories he tells Vic, how much of those are made up just to push Vic in the desired direction. Sophia Falcone, a new power player, and then we have Sophia Falcone. If episode 1 introduced her, episode 2 shows us just how dangerous she really is. Kristen Milioti absolutely nails it. Her eyes alone could kill. You can feel the tension whenever she's on screen. Is she going to help Oz, or take him down? No one knows. Inside, Man opens with a haunting sequence that sets the tone for the entire episode. We finally see the physical and psychological scars of Sophia Falcone, the notorious hangman, as she utters a line that perfectly encapsulates her character's paradox, I am not safe, I am home. The episode wastes no time showing us the aftermath of Sophia's time in Arkham Asylum. Fresh scratches mark her neck, and we later discover she sleeps in closets, a habit born from years of confinement. These details paint a picture of a woman deeply traumatized, yet still incredibly dangerous. Her session with Dr. Julian Rush, played with unsettling calm by Theo Rossi, crackles with tension. As red lights flash in the therapy room, we can't help but wonder if using fear tactics on someone known as the hangman is really the wisest move. A Dance of Alliances, Oz and Sophia. The tension between Sophia and the rest of the Falcone family, especially Luca, sets up fascinating conflicts. During Alberto's wake, we see home movies of happier times, catching a glimpse of Sophia's mother, who died in 1994 a detail that seems likely to become important as the series progresses. The Falcone family tomb becomes the setting for an unlikely alliance between Oz and Sophia, two outsiders joining forces against their common enemies. As the episode draws to a close, we're left with a sense that the real dance is just beginning. In Gotham's underworld, alliances are as fragile as they are necessary. Both Oz and Sophia know this, yet they're drawn together by circumstance and a shared understanding that sometimes the devil you know is better than the one you don't. The expanding cast new players in the game. Episode 2 also introduces several new faces, all of whom will undoubtedly stir up the already volatile dynamics. Luca Falcone, played by Scott Cohen, Carmine's brother, represents the old guard resistant to change and dismissive of both Oz and Sophia. His arrogance hints at fractures in the Falcone empire that Oz may exploit. Dr. Julian Rush brings an eerie energy to his role as Sophia's therapist. His psychological methods are unsettling, and many fans are already speculating whether this character could evolve into a reimagined version of Scarecrow, or even Hugo Strange. Johnny Vitti, played by Michael Kelly, is the ultimate wild card. Oz's plan to frame him for Alberto Falcone's murder? Genius. After all, Vitti has the distinction of being the most hated character in this show full of hateful characters. I suppose, a gruesome death awaits him in one of the later episodes. Key Sequences Tension and Violence While the pacing is slower in Episode 2, 
Two sequences stand out for their intensity, the drops heist, a brief but chaotic scene that pulls us right back into Gotham's constant threat of violence. It's messy, unpredictable, and a reminder that in this city, danger is never far away. This moment feels like a nod to the best of Breaking Bad, that balance of tension, improvisation, and dark humor. The Rat Hunt Finale. This is where the tension peaks. Oz finds himself cornered and we're reminded once again of his unmatched ability to survive. The line between cunning and luck blurs, but it's Oz's quick thinking and sleight of hand that save him in the end. What's next? A web of loyalties. As we look ahead, the stakes for Gotham's underworld have never been higher. Oz's ability to juggle his delicate alliances with both the Falcone and Moroni families will be tested, and Sophia is quickly becoming the wild card in this game of power. How long can these two play nice before everything comes crashing down? Inside Man proves that the Penguin has staying power beyond its premiere. By focusing on character dynamics and the complexities of Gotham's underworld, the series sets itself apart as a slow-burn thriller that trusts in the strength of its characters. As we look ahead to the rest of the season, one question remains. In this dance with the devil, who's really leading whom? And if we know anything about Gotham City in November, as the show reminds us with Alberto's fresh tombstone, it's that the darkest nights often bring the most intriguing developments. With Oz's plan to open a new club, Sophia's mysterious past, and the shadow of Batman looming over it all, the stage is set for a criminal empire to rise, even if we know it must eventually fall. If you're as excited as we are about what's coming next, make sure to like, share, high five, subscribe, let our channel thrive.